Predators is a game released by Gameloft, and as you would expect from a Gameloft game, it is awesome. The level designs are kind of the same, meaning that all of the game happens in the jungle, and the scenery gets repetitive, but you won't care about that. There is no time to pay attention to the background because of the badass action. Awesome badass scenes happen pretty often in this game, with big explosions that make you feel manly and say that the game is awesome. The controls are smooth and responsive throughout the game. It's worth your time. Predators The Great Hunt is a fighting game with 5 characters to choose from and multiple locations. The game looks great, but the controls aren't really. And it's a bummer that you don't have moves you can perform nor combos, you just punch or jump and punch if you manage to land a hit in this not so easy punch because of technical reasons game. And AVP Aliens vs Predators is a fighting game with more downgraded graphics but still the same kind of unplayable gameplay. The games, so this one and the previous one, look good. But too bad that the gameplay is not good. Predators The Duel is a strategy game. The awesome part about the game is that it has a nice number of puzzles and some of them are epic in Java standard. Others are plain, but there are nice moments too throughout the game, especially if you are into puzzle games that are action packed. Predator is a nice looking platformer that has a typical good platformer action. It's what you would expect from what you see in the video. But it's not just what you would expect, but even more. It has a good gameplay, even by Java standards. You can throw stuff, use cloak, use lasers. It's a great game, try it out. Alien vs Predator Requiem is a nice game, you get what you see in the video, but even if that's all of it, it's fun to plow through targets, the animations are nice, the controls too, it's a good game. It even has boss battles, so it's a pretty dense game, in spite looking simple. And the last one, Alien vs Predator is again a game that just by looking at the video you already know what it is and how it works. It's a good game too. And now thanks to old fan who pointed out in the comment section that I missed some games, the list continues. Aliens Unleashed was a bad game, no matter the version I tried. The problem with the game were the controls. Even if it sounds okay when you hear that you point with the number keys, sounds easy. Well, the control scheme would have been if it actually worked. In Rust, it's nice that you get different backgrounds to shoot whatever in it. Basically, the game is unlocked from the start, or my versions, all of them, were unlocked from the start. And you can choose what you want to shoot, whether it is a person, an alien, a face hugger, you get multiple enemies to shoot. And you can choose the weapon you want to deal damage to, with. It would have been an okay game if the controls would have actually worked. And Alien Hunter X is a Java masterpiece. You play as an alien, both in the facehugger and the alien form, and you can do normal platforming and platforming on mucus if you are in facehugger form, or if you are an alien you can attack the other enemies. You get three different types of enemies, snipers, fire soldiers and cavalry, each with its unique abilities. Snipers can snipe, fire soldiers can go through fire and cavalry have shields, they are tougher to beat. And you can either take control of one of them and fight the other ones, or you can evolve into an alien and gather abilities. So after you get your face hugger to control the body, you can evolve that character, well actually you can evolve yourself into an alien. The sniper lets you kill enemies easier and the cavalry makes you tougher. The game has two difficulty settings, normal and hard, and the gameplay isn't just platforming. You get in one or two levels to do puzzles, in another one you need to escape from ice in the time limit. The game has 16 levels and 3 settings, 4 if you consider the ice level 2. So you get the one you see in the video, 
a jungle level, a lava level and an ice level if you consider it a different setting. The game is awesome. It has so much content and it uses it so well that it's a true experience. It's one of those type of games that you, you just need to try it. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want, follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. I left the links to those in the video description. Also, if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thank you.